Yo, what's going on everybody? It's the Kitty G and I'm back again with another video and you know what? Today what I need you guys to do for me is if you like this video, do me a favor, like the actual video by pressing the like button, subscribe button, and if you want to be heard, anything that you don't like or anything that you want me to discuss with you, put in the comment section below and I'll get to your comments. I'll try to get to as much comments as I can get to as possible. Today, that's so let's look at Basuma stats. Basuma stats, okay? In 2019, he played. In 2019, he played 28 games, 100 uh, over, oh, just under 2,000 minutes, right? Passing completion of 28%. In, in, increased the next season. Increased this season, right? Interceptions per 90 was at 1.2. La last season was at 1.14. And this season so far is at 7.4. Of course, this season has not been as good yet, but he's also only played 11 games, half the games that he played last season. So he still has a lot of time to increase that. Now, tackles per 90. He does get into a tackle. And we don't have a lot of players who definitely get into tackles. Like Basuma, Basuma, can, get your, Basuma can get you involved a lot more. He, he, what do you call it? So as you can see here, he exponentially increased... From, from 2018 to 2019. And then this season so far is at 3.6 in tackles per 90, right? Now let's see what you guys are saying in the comment section. Let's see what you guys are saying in the comment section. Abba will score. No, let's stick to the Basuma talks, guys. Basuma talks. Yeah, we'll talk about Palace later today. Uh, how much is he worth? Question mark. Uh, I think he's worth around 40 mil. We'll check transfer mark in a second, right? He's a solid player, even though he would be a good uh, depth, he would be a good option. Thanks. Uh, yeah, man, smash the like button, subscribe. Thanks, bro, appreciate it. Big up to Steven. And then uh, big club, small-minded, not sure we can get over the line. He's, he's decent, though. Yeah, I agree. He's definitely decent. Now, as you can see here, Take ons completed. He actually takes people on from deep, uh, as a deep lining mid, uh, midfielder. He actually tries to beat a man, right? Now let's see where he is, where he plays most of the time. This is this is majority of the time Basuma's actual positioning. Basuma's actual positioning on the pitch is is there. And you know how old is he? I'll check that for you again. I uh, forget. I think he's twenty something. Basuma, how old is Basuma? I'll check that in a minute. You guys just keep going. But yeah, I think for 25 million, a player that can take up this kind of zone, that we need that. We need a player that can do that. He's 24 years old, yeah. Okay, yeah, so that is a perfect age bracket for someone who can improve us. Yeah, uh, it, and look at the area in the midfield that he dominates. That means he could, him and Pate together, doesn't have to be a double pivot. They could be in a midfield three because Pate does get forward. Basuma could be the more sitting player. And they're not that similar in their brackets, right? Now, I would show you guys some highlights, but then I'm worried that we get copyright striked. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to I'm just gonna read some of these uh, things that they say, right? So his aggressive positioning and, cha and challenging high ta tackle and tackle rate does benefit us highly. Now let's go into another tactical analysis of Basuma. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Okay, so we've gone through the statistics. Okay, so let's see. So first thing that they're showing us is his ability to win the ball back high up the pitch and change into transition. So as you can see here, one second the defender has the ball. The next second, he's taking the he's come in, taking the ball, and on they go, and he's passing it, and they're putting the team under attack already. Like this, little things like that would definitely assist us in 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 getting in getting like Masuma. This would definitely assist us in in helping us progress the ball, uh, get more goals, get more get more different get more things throughout, get more out of games because if you can get players that can get the ball and and help you in help you along with your smooth transitions from attack to defense and defense to attack 
that changes your that changes the element of your game. You will no longer have to be super defensive because you now have people who can do that individually by themselves. As right now, you see how the whole entire team is getting back to defend. If we had a Basuma, I'm not saying the whole entire team doesn't have to get back and defend. I'm not saying people can take time off, but what it would do is it would allow more of it would allow more bodies to go forward and be ready for the counterattack when you have an individual who can single-handedly change a game by by taking the ball uh, by taking the ball from the defender pushing them around being more physical than them being everywhere at the same time and we've seen it he did it to us last year at the emirates he destroyed us at the emirates and when we went to brighton away last year he he was he was integral to 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 brighton i think brighton did the double over us last year right so that's what so that's one now this is another situation where he was in uh, Lille. He did a similar thing. You see Basuma's there. The ball is about to be played. He comes and intercepts it before 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 the ball gets to the man. Before the ball gets to the man, he comes and intercepts it, and then uh, and then on they go. Basuma's. I'm not saying Basuma is the best player, but what he can what he does is a skill that we need. We need that skill. We need that skill, and it would benefit us dramatically if we could get if we could get get, get him in. And yes, let's let's get rid of the dead wood. I agree with you, Camp Guy. Hundred percent agree with you. You ready? Yes, he is twenty four. He would be a great signing in the January window, but unfortunately, I don't know if we can get it over the line in the January window. But let's just continue looking through this, right? Now, he's basically a one man zone in a four four two. He he takes up a lot of space. Now look at this. He's now closed off two passing lanes by positioning his body in front of the attacker. Simple, simple, simple decision making that can help you win the ball back up. Once again, he's closing down the options of the crosses by, by his positioning. His positioning and his standing is, is really good, right? His awareness uh, of where he needs to be and proactively covering spaces uh, wide, using himself as a, uh, even from a central position. Now let's get into let's get into his dribbling. Let's get into his dribbling. Oh, one second, dribbling and ball and ball, ball progression. So as you can see here, simple passes, simple passes. But when he took the ball, when he took the ball, there's two people that are going to close him down. Basuma quickly turned and dribbled past two people to create himself to create to create the distance between himself and the man. And now he's open putting them under under pressure. We don't have people who do this. Look at that again. Now he receives the ball here. This was at Lil. He's receiving the ball. There's two there's two defenders around him. Right? The next frame you can see he's already gone and he's already beat one of the defenders. So his he's able to beat players quickly by just turning and and positioning himself into an attacking player and putting himself and putting players under pressure. We don't have a lot of players who do that. The last player that I remember that would be able to do that is Santi. And also, look at uh, he can he can pick out simple passes that can put people under pressure. Now, look at this here. You got I think it's against Everton. Basuma's under a little bit of pressure. He recognizes that and he has an opportunity to progress the ball. What does he do? He beats the two men and he progresses the ball by himself, right? This right here just goes to show me that Basuma has the minerals and what it takes to improve us. And you know what? I would, I would sign him up immediately, right? I would sign him up immediately. That's just that's just my that's just my take on it, ladies and gentlemen. Now, enough about Basuma. What do you guys know about Bendia? Mm -hmm. What's going on everybody? I need you guys to go check out my channel and subscribe if you're new. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that button and hit that notification bell while you're at it, ladies and gentlemen. EGTV, you already know. And if you're on your phone, it's even easier. Press that like button for me. And you know what? Subscribe while you're still here. And big up to everybody watching. Check out most of my content. I'll be throwing out more content every